Hey you guys, it's Steph and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm actually really, really excited about this one because today I'm going to be doing a review on the new Pure in collaboration with Dr. Seuss, the Grinch palette thing. This thing here, this one. I honestly cannot believe the amount of DMs I got sent in regards to reviewing this palette. I got sent this in PR um, and to be honest, I probably wouldn't have picked it up otherwise. This wasn't like on my radar or anything like that. But now that I've got it, like I see why you guys have been wanting me to review it because it's like, it's freaking extra as hell. So it's called the Good Enough to Steal 12 Piece Collectors Face Palette and Color Changing Lip Balm Set. So you lift it up like this and, it, oh, hang on, do you? Oh no, you lift it up like this, you, this, this comes later. Lift it up like this, oh. What? Let me redo that. Rewind. So, hello again. You lift it up like this, this bit here, and try not to blind you guys with the mirror. It's got like a little pop-up situation there. And it says in the little mirror, it says, the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. See, to me that, I, okay, I've never seen the Grinch and like both the old one and this new one. I think this is to like celebrate a new film or something. I'm pretty sure it's like an animation or something. I've never seen The Grinch. I know what it is. I know the general idea, how it's like this evil man and then or like evil like thing that just looks like, what's he look like? Like this or something? Spot on stuff. It's like this weird man, this guy, and he is evil, but then he gets not evil and he loves Christmas, something like that. But I've never actually seen the film. And my friend thinks that is literally probably like, I don't know, I think she, I think she kind of wants to d disown me because she bloody loves the Grinch. So this, like this whole palette means nothing to me. That's why I wasn't really excited about it, but looking at it, I'm, I'm very excited. So we've got this little pop-up situation here. And then you pull this little guy, out comes this like little chocolate box situation. And that is the palette. And it literally smells like chocolate. Like how the Too Faced chocolate bronzer smells. That's how this smells. And you guys know that's not, that's not my favorite smell ever. So as you can see inside the palette, you've got a lipstick. As you can also see, it is green. So the idea with this is, I actually don't think I've ever really had one of these. Or if I have, it was like a very long time ago. But it's literally this color. Ooh, that is, that's very green. And the idea is, if I just swatch it like on the back of my hand a little bit. I think it kind of like changes color to like the pH of your skin or the acids on your skin. That's pretty much the same thing, something like that. It changes to your skin. So as you can see, it's gone like a kind of pinky, pinky pink color. Um, so I'm actually very, very interested to see how that actually looks on my lips. And then what we've also got is eight eyeshadows, two glitter eyeshadows. I swatched one of these in my recent PR haul video and it's bloody bonkers. I'll do like cutaways in a second or whatever. And then you've got what I'm assuming is like a blush kind of cheek topper, maybe highlight. I haven't actually swatched this one yet. Yeah, it's definitely a blush that actually looks really, really pretty. Oh my God, that looks really nice. Um, and this highlighter, which I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys right now. Just a little swirl. What the hell? I literally had the same reaction the first time I tried it and it's just, it's just ridiculous. Absolute bloody madness. You know what, screw it, let's do a couple of little swatches of these glitters. I'm just gonna go around a couple of times, it's called Mr. Grinch. So good. And then we have Naughty here. A couple of little swirls, like, look. Look. Dropping my brushes on the floor because I'm so excited. Like, oh God, it's just, oh. I think I might actually have to use that today. I. I feel like I've done a fair few green eye looks recently, but I have to freaking use that. Like the pink looks nice, but the, the green is just like something else. They do need to be kind of like packed on a little bit, obviously with these sort of glitters, if you were to just like swipe it, it doesn't really look like much, but that, that green has to go on my face. I'm sorry, it does. So then, like I said, you've got the eight eyeshadows here. So we've got two mattes, these two here. Um, you've got four shimmers and then you've got two kind of like shimmery glitter sort of situations. Like this one down here called Leave Now. It seems to have a fair bit of glitter in it. 
Oh, that is stunning. It's not like super, it's not like super intense glitter, but it does have like little reflex. Whoa. I actually have a bunch of pure stuff ready and waiting in my little bookshelf where I keep all of my testing makeup. And I've tried out a few pure things in the past, but they've come out with so many things that look so good. So let me know if you don't want me to do a testing video soon because I pretty much have a full face and I'm down if you guys are. Um, so that was like that dark bluey kind of shade. Um, I think I swatched, oh, use a different finger. I think I swatched this one in the PR video and it just, this is a highlight. It actually looks even better than, like look, oh god, it's ridiculous. Um, and then we will quickly just swatch this green, because chances are if I'm using the green glitter, I'm gonna be using this. Definitely gonna be using that. Like, look at that. Oh, love it, love it, love it, love it. So uh, yeah, as requested by you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and slap this on my face and we'll see if it's any good. I'm sorry, but I need to do this highlighter first. I need to, like, I normally leave highlighter till last, but I can't do it today, okay? Like, I'm looking very matte and I just need something on my cheeks. So I'm gonna take my usual Zoeva brush and I'm gonna do a little wiggle in there, okay? And let's see what this can do. Mmm, it's nice. Oh my, it's so, so nice. You know what I'm gonna do? Because I really wanna do it. I'm gonna try this one out, it's called Maxi. Don't, again, don't know what that means. Feel free to let me know in the comments. Um, I'm gonna try this eyeshadow out on my cheeks. So, a little swirl in there. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> shit. Look at my, look at my face. This has gotten off to a great start. Oh my God, the two of them combined is just madness. Because the actual eyeshadow is almost like more of an actual pigment, less of like a little bit of glitter. Because there's like a tiny, tiny little bit of like, I wouldn't even say glitter, it's like shimmer in the highlighter. This one is just more of like a pigment. And those two combined is just... Mm -hmm. One day I will have my own highlight palette or just single highlighter. One day. I'm putting it out into the universe. I'm, I'm saying it. And no, there is nothing on the cards. No, there is no talks of anything, but I'm just, I'm just putting it out there. Highlight palette. Just, let's do it. Take that highlighter again and put it on my Cupid's palette. Oh my God, yes, I love it. I'm just, good job. Um, I just, I just want to put it everywhere. Shoulders. Shoulders, definitely. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and take a little pencil brush. And I think realistically, I am gonna put it in my inner corner or like this shade, at least in my inner corner. Let's do that quickly. So I'm just gonna do that now because I feel like it just wakens up my eye a lot. I don't even need to say anything. You guys already know what I'm thinking. Okay, so next, as you can see, I've already got bronzer and everything on. So I'm just gonna go straight in with this blush. So this is called Heart of Who. Tap my brush in there, super pigmented. Tap some of that off on my wrist and I'm gonna go in between my bronzer and my highlighter. That actually looks a lot like NARS Orgasm. It's like a similar kind of tone. By the way, as you might be able to see, I have got a little bit of bronzer in my crease as well. Just because this doesn't really have, I guess it does have a crease shape, but I want something a little bit more brownie. So I did go ahead and put that in like beforehand, but that's all I've got in my crease. <laughs> Ooh. All right, face is done. Now let's move on to these eyes. Um, I'm gonna scoop myself up. <laughs> okay, so like I said, I do have a little something in my crease, but I'm gonna go in with this shade here, K, which is this like matte neutral shade. A lot of kickback there, but the shadows do look very pigmented. Oh, to be honest, I could have done without that in my crease. I thought that was gonna be too light but that actually looks really nice in my crease. Oh, just look at this part now actually. I feel like this is gonna get a little bit tricky because the colors are very kind of like mismatched. Love the colors, but I'm just like, okay, I've got two mattes. One's like a crease shade and this is the darkest matte we've got. 
We don't have any kind of like dark browns. We've got this one, but it's shimmery. Just gonna have to wing it. Have to wing it and hope for the best. So I think next, what I'm gonna do is take that other matte shade just on this fluffy brush from Tarte. Again, like if I just tap my brush, you can see there is a lot of kickback. Like there is a lot. Um, and I already regret doing that. I wanna go in my crease. Start packing on the outer corner and I'm like, nope. Retreat, retreat. I'm gonna just blend that into my crease some more. Really kind of warm it up. Cause I think I'm gonna contrast that with that green, hopefully. I hope it doesn't look like a really shitty Christmas decoration. And then add that glitter all over the top. These eyeshadows are blending out really, really nicely. They're not over blending. They're not like too pigmented. You do have to kind of like tap your brush off, but that's just, that's like one application and that is that's pretty much all I need really. And I feel like as well, you could really build this color up because you first put it on and it is more kind of like true to color with how it looks in the pan. But as you blend it out, it does just kind of turn into more of like a warm, deep brown. That looks good to me. So now I'm gonna take the Lux Smoky Shader brush and I am gonna go in with the shade Who Cares. Ooh, it looks like that um, color from the Soph palette that she did, the first one with Revolution. Um, okay, I'm just gonna go in. I hope there's no fallout with this. I need a mirror. Please work, please don't be too much fallout. Oh my God, that is nice. That is very, very, very nice. Okay, take a bit more of that. Tap it off. I'm just putting it in the middle to start off with. I don't really know what I wanna do. I know I want that green glitter all over my face at some point. I wonder how it would look um, with like Fix Plus or something on it. Going in for a second layer and that looks bomb. That's a really pretty color. It's actually a bit more kind of like limey than the Soph one. Hers is a little bit more like khaki. Yeah, you know what? I'm actually gonna take a little bit of setting spray. I don't want it to be too wet. Just so it's got a little bit of something. And I'll take that. I just wanna see how it applies with like a little bit of tack. Yeah, it's just a little bit more like foiled almost. Two layers of this on your lid is so nice. I'm liking this palette so far. It's a bit of like a wild card because it's, you know, not, it's not an everyday palette. There are like some random ass colors in there, but I really like it so far. Okay, I'm gonna leave it at that for a minute, I think with the green. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and dust whatever was off on that brush because I want to use it again. And I think I might actually take this shade down here called Boring. I'm saying it like that because it's got a lot of O's. That looks really, really pretty. Just kind of looks like chocolatey. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna, Pop that on the outer corner. My brush is still ever so slightly damp. We need to obviously blend that out, but if I'm just kind of like popping it there for a second, we've got, that looks, that looks very, very nice. I might actually put that on my lower lash line in a minute as well. It's a really nice color. And oh my God, the way that is blending into that green is really nice. It's almost making like a bronzy gold. Can you guys see that there? It goes like, Brown, bronzy goldy, green, it's really cool. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back in with the brush that I used for the first shade that I used in my crease and just lightly buff over that. I don't wanna buff it too much because then I might start moving around the shimmer and I kinda want the shimmer to sort of stay on my lid. Losing the green a little bit, but that's definitely working in terms of blending it out. By the way, absolutely zero fallout at the moment. Oh wait, I lied. Tiny little bit of fallout there from the dark, Brown. Right, I want more of that green back. I miss it. I miss it already. So again, just dust off that brown that was on my brush. Dust it on my trousers. Take some of that green. Just this one here. And then again, just kind of like pat that over my lid again. Just in kind of random patting motions, just so it doesn't get like all built up in the crease again. Oh, a bit of fallout. Oh God, it's almost gonna be a shame to go over that with the glitter in a minute, but I'm gonna do it. Okay, fallout, be gone. Fallout, be gone. So in all honesty, I don't know if I need some sort of glitter glue. I don't know if I need anything really. So I'm just gonna go just straight in with it. I'm just gonna use this brush here from Morphe. 
And I guess I'm going to kind of like wiggle my brush in there to pick up some of the product. Oh my god. I'm actually going to blow on it. I wouldn't normally do this, but just to make sure there's like no glitter anywhere. I think just kind of like over the green. It's going to be sad to see go, but it's got to be done. We need to see this green. Okay. I love green. I think greens are becoming like my new blues. Maybe cut crease it a little bit. This brush is honestly so good for doing like little impromptu cut creases. Cause it just like curls right around my lid. Oh my God, look at how that glitter's going on. I feel like this side is definitely more of like a nice look, but I just really want to wear this. All this hard work I just did blending that out and I've just gone all over it with green, but I ain't mad. Definitely think I went a little bit too far with that in the corner there, but that's fine. <laughs> Such a good color. You guys know again, I don't say I don't say the word lightly, but kind of a little bit shook right now. Okay, we definitely need to add something on the outer corner now because it's a little bit like it's a little bit lost. I'm gonna take that little flat brush that I was using again, just dust it off, and I'm gonna go back in with the this shade here, sly one. So a little bit wet this brush here, but I'm gonna use that to kind of darken the outer corner. I don't necessarily even want the color of it so much, just more so like the deepness, like that. And then just with the same brush, I'm gonna go in with the shade Boring. Sorry, Boring. And I'm gonna pack that over the top, just to kind of get the depth of the matte color, but get the actual color that color so don't worry if it's not like properly blending we will do that in a minute it's all good baby it's all good all right so now i'm gonna take a very very small brush i normally just use these for the inner corner but i really don't want to mess around with the glitter too much so i really like ruined that red shade there i'm gonna go back in with the shade cave and i'm really just gonna like slightly work over the crease but not so much so that we like lose the kind of half cut crease effect with the glitter. I just I just had like a bit of like a moment kind of re-realizing that this is this is my job. I'm having the time of my freaking life right now. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take the same brush with that same color underneath my eyes. Yeah, just keep it keep it fairly simple on my lower lash line I think. Cause you know we have got like freaking a bright green on all over my eye. I'm loving this palette, but the only downside I found is that there really is a lot of fallout, like in the matte shades especially. Not so much in any of the other shades, but like these here, just a bit... So now I think just to use as many colours as I physically can, I'm actually going to go in with a shade Loathe, which is like this golden shade. Um, what do you like? Okay, you're not too crazy. And I'm going to pack that on my inner corner. Oh god, that is actually pretty crazy. But it's done now. I might lighten it slightly with the, um, yeah, I'm gonna lighten it ever so slightly with this shade here, just on the same brush, just to kind of lighten it a little bit. Still want the color, but don't want it to be as freaking intense. Try not to get it actually on my eyeball. Ugh, mission failed. Take a little bit of Who Cares, which is that like mossy green, and just pop that on my inner corner as well. Just like slightly blending it into the brown because I did really like how that looked with the green to brown. Eyeshadow my eye. Eyeshadow my eye. Alright, so now before I go on to lashes and put a mascara on and everything like that, I'm just gonna use this bad boy here. I have a feeling that I'm not gonna like this with this look because this is a very intense eye look. I imagine this is gonna be quite subtle. Maybe if I like pair it with a lip liner or something. Who knows? But let's try it out. So nothing on my lips at all. Maybe like the tiniest little bit of highlighter residue. No lip balm, no nothing. Let's try it like this. Let's see like, oh my God. <laughs> Definitely don't like it with this eye look. Definitely don't like it. You can see that's the color of my natural lip. And this is the color of the, uh, the green lipstick. I don't mind it. I don't really like pink lipstick. So you guys know that this probably isn't gonna be it's probably not going to get like a high rating from me, but feels like a lip balm, pigmented, a little bit of fun. Are you going to wear this every single day of your life? Chances are the majority of you are not, but 
I I like it. Like it's just a little bit of fun. Oh my god, and I think it smells like mint. Yeah, it smells a little bit like mint. Delicious. I don't know why I'm putting more on because this does not look good with green green eyes. Uh yeah. Gonna switch the lip up a little bit, gonna add some lashes. I'm gonna put some mascara on and I will check back with you guys for my final thoughts, but I have a feeling you already know what they are. All right guys, so this is the finished look and I've got to say I am freaking obsessed, obsessed with just that palette in general. Like, okay, the lipstick isn't my thing. I like the fact that I have it because it's fun, because in my head I'm just thinking I could do some sweet Instagram videos with that, but it's the highlight, the blush, the eyeshadow and the glitters that are just getting me. Like, this look with this glitter, I'm just so, so into it. I'm literally obsessed. And I mean, uh, once again, can we talk about this highlight? And this highlight? And this one? And this one? And this one? And this one? This one? Let me know, as always, what you guys think of this look in the comment section down below and let me know if you've tried out anything from Pure, if you want a testing video, if you're gonna get your hands on the Grinch palette. If you enjoyed this video, as always, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you don't see more of me because I upload all the damn time. But apart from that, that is it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Uh, bye bye.